Las Vegas. Even though this city is in the middle of the desert, but it has slowly turned into one of the most famous cities in the whole world. A chain reaction had to take place for a desert city like this to be one of the most famous places on earth. First of all, advertisement. Second of all, Hollywood and people like Elvis Presley. Most important of all, an insane amount of money that enters this place every day. And of course, that leads to more investments. The most populated state in the US is also located next to it. And the most populated city in this state, which is Los Angeles, is only a four hour drive to Las Vegas. The airport in Las Vegas is one of the most crowded airports in the world because it takes flights from almost everywhere. And of course, all those people are tourists. The most amount of tourists that enter Las Vegas are from the United States itself. A lot of weird and cool investments have taken place in Las Vegas, but the coolest and newest one, and the weirdest one in some cases, has recently been opened up. This, a place called the MSG Sphere. One of the most famous hotel casinos in Las Vegas is the Venetian. And they are the main investors in building this sphere you're seeing right here. This arena is meant for entertainment, like concerts, comedy shows, esports events, and many, many more. And on the outside, it's mainly for outdoors entertainment and sponsorships. The entire body is made of LEDs and it has a very high resolution and it could show anything it's programmed to show. Before this sphere was ready, it was called the MSG Sphere, but later on, they changed it to just Sphere because it got so famous. This building has a diameter of 150 meters and since a good portion of it is underground, the height of it is about 111 meters. And at 111 meters, you could compare it to a building with 40 stories. When the sphere was finished, it was named the biggest globe structure in the whole world. And before this, the Avicii building in Sweden was in first place, which had a height of 85 meters. You might think that since this is a globe and it doesn't have stories inside it, it's probably cheap. But that's when you're wrong, because this building cost $2.3 billion to build. It is known as the most expensive entertainment arena in the world now. To build a building like this, they also needed a very special crane that was only made in Belgium. The Sarens company in Belgium is the only manufacturer that has a crane like this and they had to send them to Las Vegas for this project. This crane was sent to Vegas in the beginning of the project and basically grew as the structure grew. The sphere is designed in a way where the last piece of the puzzle that goes on the tippity top is the most important and holds the whole structure together. And since it's so damn important, it weighs 115 tons. And for a crane to raise something this heavy over 100 meters and place it correctly in a spot, that's quite impressive and that is why a crane like this was needed. The seating area inside the sphere can fit 18,000 people. It could be for a concert, a comedy show, or anything else. But why did they spend so much money on a sphere-looking building? Americans have a saying for things like this. It's called, why not? It also fits the theme of the city very well because there's plenty of weird building. And since it's so famous around the world, not just Vegas, it could attract a lot of attention and make plenty of more money. On the body of the sphere, you could see 1.2 million LED. And each of these LEDs are ginormous compared to other LEDs because they're the size of a hockey puck. A hockey puck is about five centimeters in diameter. So they're pretty big. So these LEDs are very advanced and they could move the lights around smoothly. 
to make a cool effect. Anything they program on the computer, it is shown on this sphere in very high definition. It's good to note that the surface of this sphere is also the biggest monitor in the world. You probably know what a 55 inch TV looks like. If you want to put 55 inch TVs and cover this whole thing up, you're gonna need 60,000 TVs. Some experts believe that this could be the most expensive billboard on the planet as well. And it could generate a whole lot of money and make a huge return on their investment. When the Venetian decides to make a sphere like this in the Las Vegas Strip, they wanted something very unique that stands out next to other entertainment arenas. And even though it's much more expensive than any other arena, but they still resume the work and continue on. As you know, the Venetian is a hotel and a casino, but their number one generation of wealth is the casino because a lot of people lose, and that is why they never run out of money. In the inside, there's 18,000 seats, and they're pointed towards one direction with a ginormous monitor that covers the entire halfway. This monitor is huge, and it's 15,000 square meters. You could also adjust the size of this monitor, which is insane. You could make it cover the whole thing, or you could make it look like a movie theater. Most importantly, this giant monitor is 120 FPS. FPS stands for frames per second. And the more of these you have, the smoother your film is gonna be. So when you have this much, the experience is gonna be much smoother and enjoyable. In terms of audio, it's amazing as well. There are 160,000 speakers that cover everywhere and they're engineered in a way where it delivers the sound everywhere equally. And it doesn't matter if you're sitting all the way at the top or in the front, you are going to have the same experience as everybody. There's another method that they could internationally divide the audience, like the Chinese can sit here and other nationalities spread around and the speakers could be designed in a way where it's delivered to that section in a certain language so the foreigners can understand what is happening. The engineers that designed this audio system say it seems like you're wearing a headset when you're sitting here, but you're not. There are other technologies being engineered just for this sphere. They're trying to design a system that let's say you want to imitate a wind or make it seem like there is actually an ocean wave flowing through the arena, they could imitate that to give the viewer a much better experience. It has not even been a week since the sphere has opened up officially, but there are plenty of problems, especially from drivers in Las Vegas, that heavily distract them. And there's a lot of complaints that we can't even focus on our driving because of this ginormous billboard in front of us. The Venetian that designed this globe, they want to do the same thing in London. And the city of London has approved this project and they want to begin, but the people of London are complaining because they don't want something so modern in their city. London is an old school looking city and something like this will ruin the view. The Prince of Dubai also wants this to be built in Dubai itself, but they haven't approved it yet because it's a giant project and it's no joke. It has not even been a week since the sphere has started, but they haven't opened the doors yet and there's no shows. You can enjoy the exterior for now. What do you guys think about this type of arena? Please comment.